Hi, my name is Richard Cannon of Chocolate Academy and this is going to be a tutorial on Sweeney's on the bag for Thai boxing for the Warrior Collective. So, when we're doing Sweeney's on the bag, this is when we've already engaged into this clinch zone, okay? So as we were saying before about the, the Russian dolls all kind of stacked e inside each other, we've moved past the push kicking range, the body kicking range, the boxing range, we've engaged into the clinch, we've taken a good solid grip around the back of the head and probably on an arm, okay? Ideally if you can get both hands to the, to the inside and got this good strong, strong clinch, then you're gonna be in a better position. But chances are that your opponent's not going to let that happen. So you'll end up with one hand on the back of the head and the other hand on the, on the bicep. So when we're going through these techniques, what we're, what we're aiming for is to again build this repetition and build up our, our strength through our footwork, our balance, our fluidity and, and make, these, uh, make these knees nice and strong. So we get used to moving our hips as we deliver the knee. So, I'm holding on to the bag, I'm not holding on to the, the, the material, okay? I'm, I'm using the, the flat of my hand, clamping here, and I'm taking my elbows nice and close, okay? I don't want to be hugging the bag here. Hands flat, elbows in, so that now I can use my elbows to push, and I can use my hands to pull, okay? So I can use my elbows to push, and I can use my hands to pull. And this is what controls the range and the distance. So I can be protected and pulled in close, and then I can create the space by pushing my elbows away to deliver the knee, to come back into the stance and close the distance up again. So, swing knees. If we want to generate power, we have to move our hips. There's no point in just lifting knees up here in a slow, flat, non-energetic fashion. What we're aiming to do is deliver the knee, drive the knee, knee forwards, up and through. So what I'm aiming to do is, if my hip is fixed here, I lift my knee in a circular fashion, okay? If I want to punch into the bag, I have to twist on my standing leg, I have to move my hip forwards, okay? And what I'm aiming to do is to get the point of my knee here to drive straight into the bag. So notice I'll come up on the standing leg, I come up onto the ball of my foot, I push my hip forwards, and then I'm coming back. So when I'm clinching, I'm holding onto the bag, nice and flat with the elbows tucked in. I've got my forehead on the, on the bag. This is where I'm gonna be staying protected, okay? And then what I'm gonna be doing, I'm gonna be looking to put my front foot to the center line of the bag. The footwork, again, is fundamental to the, to the, the, the effectiveness of these techniques. So when I'm penduluming my legs, my feet are in di diagonal corners of the square, I'm gonna move my lead leg to the center line of my body, the center of my balance, and my other leg kicks out to the side. When I kick that leg out to the side, that's how I'm generating the power to drive my hip forwards and get more power into my knee. And then I can work this on a rotational fashion. I can, I can just swap sides. So, so when I'm here, in my stance, I move my front foot to, this, to the center line, back leg kicks back, driving the knee forwards, notice I'm up on the ball of my foot and my hips are pushing into the bag, and then I'm going to put my right foot where my left foot is, kick the leg back as far as I can, driving the hip forwards, so getting good power into that knee, okay? So then I can work that on a faster rotational movement. If I stay on the ball of my foot, I'm going to get more power, I'm going to get more rotation, and I can punch that knee through into the bag a little bit more. Now, this is a kind of uh, really broken down way of explaining how we deliver these swing knees. The, um, the best way is probably just to show you. So, when we're here, we're in. So that's how it is, how it should be when it's speeded up. Notice how I was kicking that leg all the way back, driving the hip forwards, getting good power on the knee. Okay? And again, when I was training over in Thailand, 
We used to do probably 500, 1,000 of these every training session. So that's the level that you want to be aiming towards. So thank you for watching this tutorial on swing knees on the bag for Thai boxing. For more information on my gym, check out www.chokdyork.co.uk. You can also check out the, the Facebook group, Chuck D Thai Boxing and MMA. And for more tutorials, please visit the Warrior Collective YouTube channel or visit www.warriorcollective.com. Thank you.